if you hear a clicking noise, it's not my fault. These turtle bitches, they catch everything. So, it's not my fault. You know, I need better equipment. And if y'all want to see me better equipment, uh, send money to my Patreon. I'm just playing. I ain't got no Patreon. Unless y'all want to send it. Nah, I ain't got nothing. I'm a little pissed because I have to do this over because Upload Studio just crashed on me. Don't know why. But Quantum Break, it's a good game. It's a very solid game. But one thing I don't like is the filter. I don't know why they chose to use the filter. Maybe they go with a more cinematic feel, but I don't like it. It feels grainy. And secondly, the story feels a lot like Flash. You know, in the particle accelerator, I think that's what you call it. In the whole time thing, it feels a lot like Flash. So a lot of people are like, we ain't never seen nothing like this before. Good bullshit, and we have. We have. It's called The Flash. What up, Barry Allen? You know, the character that plays in the game, Jack Joyce, is basically The Flash, and, and Paul Marine is basically Zoom. But anyway, I did enjoy the story. The story is entertaining, and I do enjoy the episodes between the gameplay. You know what I'm saying? It's very entertaining. I'm not saying the story is bad. I'm just saying it feels a little bit familiar. I ain't gonna call it so much unique. And I would like, like I said before, I would like a sequel. Well, actually, y'all didn't hear what I said before. Because like I said, I had to start this over. But I would like a sequel. Because the gameplay is fun. The powers, the powers is fun. But I do, I do not like the skill point setting. Because you have to find your skill points. And that doesn't make very sense to me. You can just use the XP system. You know, based on your time powers and how you get different kills with your powers, they could have given you XP for that. But instead, they make you find your skill points. Now, with me saying that, finding your skill points is not very difficult. It's not, because this little thing blinks. I think I, I'm going to just call it a timer, uh, spidey sense. I don't know what the fuck to call it, but it blinks whenever something is nearby. Whenever a skill point is nearby, it blinks. So that takes care of that. Now, for all my hardcore casuals, yes, I said hardcore casuals. Hardcore casuals is someone who buys a lot of games, plays a lot of games, but plays everything on normal. I am not stupid. I play everything on normal. So what I will tell you is, know your place, know your skill. The game is not that difficult. Now, I haven't finished the game. I'm on Act 5. But I imagine the game can't get any harder than it's already been. But, the, but with that being said, if you want a challenge, put it on harder. But like I said before, know where you've been. Now, also, using the powers is fun. Everything about this game is completely fun. Is it worth the 60? I don't know. It depends on what type of person you are. For me, yes, it's worth the 60. It's a, it's a third person shooter. It has a good story. That's all I need. Because I don't really play multiplayer games like that. I mean, I would if I was good at it. But like I said, my skills ain't ready for no multiplayer. Okay, when you're going 2 and 15 on, on multiplayer game on FPSs, you ain't ready for that life. And I know I ain't ready for that life. So just know what you're getting. For, for a person like me, who enjoys Uncharted, who enjoys The Last of Us, who enjoys third-person adventure games, yes, I like it. Now, this is not your typical shooter. So don't go on anything. I'm going to cover. I'm going to do this. You have to move. For you, for you lazy motherfuckers, you have to think, and you have to get used to the powers, and you have to use different powers to get out of different situations. Now, as I said, it's not that hard to understand. So you will get used to it very quickly. The game is short. I don't care what nobody tells you. The fucking game is short. But however, I will say this by saying this. You should expect that. Because they got a real actor. Well, real actors. And all that filming shit. Now, just my opinion. The filming shit is cool. I enjoyed it. But I feel like they should have just kept that shit into the game. Just make that a regular cutscene. But that's just me personally. I'm gonna say this again. So I don't get a whole bunch of hate. Well, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I like the episodes. But. They could have just did it the more traditional way. I also like that they give you your powers very quickly. You know, it's my powers and I need it now. But with that being said. The story does feel a little bit rushed. Like you just thrown into everything. You know, and I guess that's due to time restraints. And the fact that the game is not that long. They had to just put everything in there. But I would love a sequel and I would love is is it worth the sixty to somebody if I was talking to somebody else, would I tell them to pay for it? Again, I have to say this. I don't know. It depends on what type of person you are. If you like single player games, I would say yes. If you're on the fence about single playing games, I would say no. But that's just me. And you know, and I would, like I said before, I would love a sequel, because I would love to see where the story goes. I'm not done with it, so, so maybe the end of might surprise me. 
But I, do I think Quantum Break is a game of the year contender? No. 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 Let's let's just stop the right there. No. Do I think Quantum Break looks better than Uncharted? No. Look at my face. I mean, you can't see my face, but if you can see my face, look at my face. No. It does not look better than Uncharted. Stop the bullshit, but it is a pretty game. And uh, I do like Xbox. And I do game on my Xbox uh, a lot. You know, so this is not coming from no fan. Like I said before, man, I love PlayStation. I love Xbox. I love games. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let all you other niggas worry about what's this one has the most power. Yada, yada, yada. I'll play what the fuck I want. But y'all know what it is. Not the Grand King, don't stop foes. I get around. Should you buy it? Yes, if you like single player games. No, if you're a multiplayer guy.